Yay. Hello, everyone. Good evening. And uh, how are you? We're doing okay. So if you remember the previous episode of Rise of the Free States, we don't have Josh tonight. Uh, yeah, he is, uh, he got busy with some work stuff. He's fine. He's, he's perfectly alive. Nothing happened, we promise. So, uh, we're just gonna have to ST around him. Well, I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, these guys, I don't know what they're gonna do. How is everybody else tonight? Oh, oh you're asking us. Your, your oh, fucking yeah. energy is infectious, guys. What would I, what would I do without you? I'm fucking pumped. Let's go! Well, Chad, without us, you'd be talking to yourself. Go play hard. Let's get here. Let's get here. I love you, Chad. Adam, 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 Adam. I role play with myself every time I convince myself there's a reason to live. I'm used to it. <laughs> the other members of CAFCON died 20 years ago. <laughs> the accident wasn't your fault. You have to let us go. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Like I'll can you imagine? Can you imagine if somebody was actually able to live stream their delusion? That's an incredible <laughs> idea for a short story. Big secret to so, writing: ideas are everywhere. Anyway, uh, so who wants to give us the recap on last week of Rise of the Free States? Uh, somebody who was part of that episode. Josh. <laughs> 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 Josh, where are you? We yeah, yeah Adam, what happened? Uh, Yusuf, I forgot your music. I'm sorry. Even though you're not here right now. Well, uh, last week, me. Xavier and I got to role play as the audience. <laughs> How was that? That was fun. Go. Now I'm in Twitch. Fuck. Okay, so previously, on Rise of the Free States, Carlo had to deal with the aftermath of diablerizing his cousin. Yes, if you don't remember, uh, Mauricio Giovanni is no more. And Carlo now stands at the crux of his future. And something that's going to determine the rest of his career as a vampire. Who does he trust? Can he even trust himself? No! <laughs> Byrick Ash finally infiltrated the Museum of Cristero Artifacts at uh, the uh, sorry, San Fernando Mission, I believe it is, uh, and was accosted by a mysterious voice as he attempted to open one of the displays, and Jabril Jones has been hunting. We're actually going to pick it up with you today, Byrick Ash. As you attempted attempted to uh, jimmy open a one of the glass display cases for it was either a handwritten Bible or some rosary beads. I forget which one it was. Do you remember? It was the Bibble. The Bibble. As you attempted to open the Bibble, a voice, not particularly a friendly voice, greeted you. And as you turn, you see its owner. There's a figure. A vaguely human figure that seems to be in a very, very dark black cloak, almost like a Franciscan monk. But again, Franciscan monks are usually brown, and this this figure is entirely black. Even his face seems cast in this pall of perpetual darkness that seems to defy the wan light around you. Wan. Now... What's notable is that you have heard of La Fantasma, a ghost that haunts the mission, but as you confront this person, who, as far as you know, wasn't in the room just moments ago, you definitely sense the beast. You are 100% certain that you stand in the midst of another vampire. And what's more, the overwhelming aura of the abyss that you first sense when you first stepped onto the grounds of the, this mission seems to intensify as you draw near this person. So there's no other entrances into this place. Just the one door. So either he had... 
obfuscate, or the monk who let me in is now dead. Awesome. Yusuf, you're not wrong. Now, what did he say again? Uh, I believe he said something to the uh, effect of you're much more reserved than the previous thief. So then you know of the previous thief. Yes, I saw him when he smashed open the displays and took what he wished. Nothing of any particular value, but... Who's to say? Question is, why are you on my territory, Lick? Like your territory? Yes, the mission is mine. The priests here are my herd. And you weren't invited. <laughs> well, my apologies. I merely wish to examine some artifacts here. Then you'll pardon me if I ask what your interest in them is. Purely sexual, I assure you. <laughs> Purely sexual. <laughs> Nothing to be alarmed about. <laughs> I get my rocks off, I just masturbate onto museum pieces. Oh, history. <laughs> Do you ever see that 4chan post of that guy that was, like, sexually attracted to tile? Like, he was, like, reading no. frescoes and stuff? The only 4chan post I have memorized is Diamond is the hardest metal known to man. A good one. I still have to get that edited and up on the uh, on the channel. <clears throat> My pursuits are purely scholarly. I assure you of this. Tom, how is your? Uh... Day, not too bad. <laughs> Let's go with charisma etiquette. Oh no! You're not necessarily not trying that. to convince this guy, but he's more or less trying to get a read on you. No, not that. My mouse is dying. Oh, I think my keyboard's going. I'm gonna blame that for all my typos tonight. I hope my keyboard doesn't start dying, considering it's connected to the rest of the computer. Bad, but not impossible. Ah. Okay, what was it? Uh, etiquette, what? Charisma etiquette. I have etiquette, but I don't have charisma. Well, good news is everybody gets one. Um, is there another stat that you would like to use instead? I'm pretty flexible, so... Appearance? Not really. Appearance? That's not too much better. So what, do... what's, what's your... Uh, I'll roll with charisma. Okay. okay, go for it. Let's call this a... I will go with a diff six. Like I said, he's just trying to get a read on you. He's not necessarily trying to probe your innermost thoughts. I got two successes. Two successes. You sort of see the darkness around him ripple and crack like a whip before it settles again. Crap. And the last one, my last uninvited guest, did he have scholarly interests as well? Or are you completely separate from him and also just happen to have an interest in recent history? I know next to nothing about your previous intruder, though I do have a suspect. Hence, or I do su suspect that he has already met his demise. Is that so? And what gives you that idea? 
your missing flag was found on a body in in the southern desert on a what did you refer to me as a lick he sort of cocks his head to the side and you sort of get the the vibe that there's a sardonic smile somewhere in that darkness oh it's not my flag these artifacts, these baubles, I could care less. It's the disrespect that really grinds against me on some sort of level. <laughs> Understandable. I had heard it was like this in L.A. Perhaps I should have been prepared, but... A church... Some things just aren't sacred anymore. You wish <laughs> to know about these artifacts, do you? I, I can't help but feel a distinct connection with them and the the void. Quite palpable upon arrival. Much like what you're exuding right now. My connection to the darkness. Oh. Uh, I can feel it tugging at me. Why don't you give me another intelligence occult roll? That is something I'm much better at. Can you sense the darkness in his soul, too? Are you going to overcome it with the power of friendship? No, with the power of my stand. <laughs> Jojo isn't part of Kingdom Hearts yet. Four successes. Four successes. So as you're conversing with him, uh, as you're sort of getting a feel of the artifacts around, as you're processing everything, and as you see this massive upswell in abyssal energy as he revealed himself to you, you're starting to think maybe these artifacts aren't connected with the feeling after all. Maybe if this is his haven, as he claims, perhaps he's just left some sort of occult imprint on the place. Maybe the darkness is actually coming from him. <laughs> the darkness is in your soul, too. <laughs> I can sense it. <laughs> but at what... Why would you throw away your humanity? For power? Griffith! Oh. <laughs> wrong, wrong reference, Adam. The same thing, though, but yeah. No, no it's oh, not. Dear. You threw away, not even close. You threw away his friends, you made every. You threw away everything else, I guess. Yeah. But yep. very different characters we're talking about, Adam. Very different. Adam, go play The Last of Us Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> Uncalled. You can't say bad things about that game, Xavier. Otherwise, you hate women and and and. <laughs> homos i don't is that is that what the 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 backlash has been about i've heard it's mostly just been the developers no. crying about no, it, it is a, it is it is not a good game but um, that, that's that what i've heard shield, that's the shield that they hold up yeah that they're, they're using the lgbt community as a shield which is super scummy i heard i heard something about them being compared to like schindler's list and somebody was like, okay, that's stupid. And then uh, the the developer or the director or something took that comment like straight up the butt and got mad about it. So that's what I heard. Oh, I had... fucking Neil Druckmann? I guess. Anyway, back to Tom and the figure. Back to Byrick Ash in the darkness. Ah. <sighs> I do hope you will pardon my intrusion without any invitation. I was unaware that there was a... a... territory to be set here. Well, you've been here a whole five minutes and haven't broken anything, so you seem to be a great deal better company than the other one. But you understand why I make my haven 
at such a removed place, don't you? I wish to be left alone. I thought a place like L.A., free of the Camarilla, free of the Sabbat, I might finally be able to do that, as long as I let the young ones fight their squabbles in the streets of the city, and twice I've been proven wrong now. A discomforting realization. <laughs> Pest will crawl about everywhere. Indeed. So you've come seeking darkness, have you? You're not entirely untouched by the abyss yourself. You are correct. Though I have suspicions that there's other lines that form my powers as well. Oh, do tell. More esoteric rituals, you could call them. You're one of Marconius's children, then. I don't believe I've ever seen one in the flesh. I get that quite often. I can't tell if I'm surprised or disappointed, no offense. But the myth is always greater than the truth, is it not? I didn't... what? You cut out for me? He said, I can't tell if I'm surprised or disappointed, but the myth is always greater than the truth, is it not? Valernos, how's it going? Hey, also, Mazzy, I didn't say hello, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Conversely, oh. I saw you were there, Mazzy, and chose to ignore you. <laughs> oh, I... Fuck me. What? What happened? What'd you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it. Day sure you <laughs> could still be a mod if you did your one job. Dude, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I suffer oh, from anxiety myself. That is the world's biggest bitch. Um, St. John's Wort, my guy. It helps. Anyway. Or heroin. <laughs> Legends surrounding me or myself or my kin... Hardly interest me. Then what does? I think you already know this answer. Perhaps, but as I said, I don't have a track record of being right lately. <laughs> well, you seem to have an ex an especial connection to the abyss. And I mistaken this connection to be some sort of relic, but clearly this seems to be untrue. Ah, uh, one of the renegade angels. I hear there is one in town, though. I've yet to find him. You wouldn't want to mess with that sort anyway. So yes, the connection is with me and not these baubles. What about it? I only wish to probe your mind. <laughs> Referring exactly how this exactly differs from what I might find in another clan. Because clearly, this is far more Deep. A deeper darkness? It is darker than black. How much... Would you say... Fifty Shades? Darker? The only other clan I know with a... Shred... Of this power is... The Bastard Children of Cappadocius. And if you wish to know what's different... I would ask you what is different between night and day. The the children of Augustus merely dabble with the abyss. This is true understanding. In understanding, many think they want, and many are wrong about. 
so people can't handle the darkness inside of them. So you wish to probe my mind? Something that I stated, I rather conflicts with my previous goals of being left alone. But let's say I was interested. Let's say I also wanted to probe your mind as a child of Marconius, as the first one I've yet to meet. I would you say you should be careful doing this, but I think you would return the warning. Merely trying to decide if it was worth my time. To dump all this car that brings people's brains. <laughs> I don't have dementation. I should probably pick that up at some point. I need to find a. <laughs> I need to find a. Uh... Oh, they don't have dementation with yet, the do two they? With fairies. Um, canonically, not yet, unless they're Sabat. <laughs> then I need to go find a Sabat. Malkavian. Wait a minute. I'll be meeting the Malkavian soon. Uh, you ate a Sabat Malkavian, remember? I did? Yes. <laughs> you... Oh my god, I'm crazy! <laughs> he's currently living in your head, though he's been That's... very quiet lately, because I haven't haven't needed to use him. Also, I've been forgetting that he's there. I'll fix That's that at right. some point. He was a Malkavian. I, you can't expect me to remember everyone I've eaten at this point. You can't expect me to know all the voices in my head, personally. Because so I think if I use Dementation and Mythosaria at the same time, some crazy shit will happen. <laughs> you really will just be the Avatar of Cthulhu at that point. No, see, if you get Dementation and Abyss Mysticism, maybe, just maybe, you could be able to talk to demons. Break down that barrier. Let them out early. Even though it doesn't matter when they got out because they got flung through time, just as a make, just so I think don't not make sense. Okay, what was the last thing I was asked? Uh, he was trying to decide if you were worth his time. Hmm. I'm willing to trade in knowledge for knowledge. Do you know how a radio works? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard about these confangled machines that have that move upon their own without the need of a horse? Mm -hmm. Do you have something for Wan Chi Tong? He who knows 10,000 things? Do you know Maven Brackbire? God damn. <laughs> Speech up. <laughs> Again, you he tilts his head. And you can feel that, that energy, that sardonic smile coming once again. This is the first time I can say something interesting has happened to me, and I don't know when. <laughs> I wish Come. I could say the same. Come, child of Marconius. Uh, I don't think we wish to have this conversation where ears might hear. And with that, let us go to Mr. Jabril Jones. Uh, so here's what we're going to do, Jabril. Uh... Yeah. We're going to say that during the downtime, you took care of your feeding. So if this was a LARP, you would have spent a downtime action to do it. Go ahead and refill your blood pool. It's fine. I'll give you I'll give you the celerity. You can have 15 oh. attack actions. It, it's cool. Which, I mean, I was just going to get there throughout the day anyways. Or night. Because I already feed it on the, that lady, remember? Right. But yeah, so yeah, you're you're good on feeding right now. What I need to know yeah. from Jabril is what is your immediate goal? Well, now that the hunger has subsided, uh, I don't think I've been informed as to when. <laughs> nice. That was that was my next question, Carlo. 
Yeah. At, at any point after calling Mr. Zance, would you attempt to contact the rest of your coterie? Um, eventually. I would probably have, like, Zance call them because I don't know if I have the number. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll, the, the dude who's not here, have him do it. Yeah. Uh, to, be, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> how sad. <laughs> I don't know how to use these new phones. I probably, I probably have it at my apartment, though, maybe. Yeah. So I'll probably swing by the apartment then and just, uh, yeah. Carlo, you got a mansion now. No, but hey, I still have the apartment. I still have everything in the apartment, though. <laughs> real. Is- okay. Question number one. At any point, do you feel like Jabril would have given Carlo his number? Or any any uh, method to contact him short of carrier pigeon? Yeah. Yeah. Really? I find that yeah. hard to believe, but I'll go with what you say. I mean, it's been like years. I, 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 I would have wanted him to be able to call me at some point. Also, I probably had the landline before I had the carrier pigeons. I feel like we've had this discussion before, and that that goes against canon. But whatever, whatever, we'll we'll go with it. It makes things easier. I'm not going to argue. Um, all right. So, what is Jabril's objective? Uh, have have I been informed? Uh, so, uh, so at this point, I know it's like, oh, I'll help them at some point, but I still don't know when or how. All right. Right. Let, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, the information I'm going off of right now. I can I can make this happen. Carlo, you get back to your uh, apartment before rendezvousing with Zance at the mansion. You do find, indeed, that you have Jabril's number. I don't think you would have Byrick's, right, Tom? Wait, no. Would you have mm-hmm. given? Would Byrick Ash have given Carlo Martino any way to contact him? No, absolutely not. Absolutely, what I thought. So I thought you. No, I don't want you calling me. He knows where to find me. Well, he knows where I sleep. He knows where my haven is. Also, do you have, did you find the idea of having running electricity going through your house uncomfortable? Because it can burn all your books down? <laughs> Only candlelight. It only goes in the glass. You find a contact number for Jabril. You don't find one for Byrick. What would you like to do? I uh, call Jabril, of course. Uh. Okay. Well, I'm not home, so... The phone yeah. rings for about a minute. Finally, there's silence on the other end. And after a bit, you hear sort of a muffled... Hello? Hello? Is this your Bill's um, residence? There's some like... <laughs> Mr. Grills? Bear Grills? Mr. Jones's residence? Is this right, I have to Jones talk into the residence? other end. Yeah. Uh, yes. These newfangled talking machines. Who is this? Is this a demon? <laughs> no, this is um... Uh, no, this is Patrick. <laughs> this is uh, Carmel. Carlo. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard of you. What what do you what do you want, Carlo? Uh, do you know where? Do you happen to know where Jabril is? Can Jabril come out and play? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm I haven't much need to speak to him. I believe Jabril went hunting. What concern is it of you? Uh, can you tell him to go to Mark's place uh, when he arrives, when he comes back? Uh? Give me uh, charisma, empathy. See, and open up the dice. Uh, just... I have no charisma. <laughs> Haha, ha, your tears won't work through the phone. Got one success. Ooh, what happened? Are we frozen to anybody else? Or is that just my end? 
Uh, let's Josh... climb a lion. Okay, cool. Let's One success? Josh... Yes. Uh, speaking of which... I'm still not convinced that this isn't some sort of gin trick, but... All right, I'll give him the message. Uh, thank you, sir. How... How do I dismiss you? I'll... I'll dismiss it. Or just put the... The... The final thing on the... On top of the thing. <laughs> put the thing on top of the thing! Very oh, well. Boy. There's... Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me... <laughs> There's a clatter. And then silence. Hope you broke his, Hope he doesn't forget people in their old age. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Put up my damn keys again. <laughs> and I guess I'll head to Mark's place after that, or pick up all, like pick up the stuff that I, all the the vampire stuff from my apartment. <laughs> the, in the, the vampire uh, stuff. Yeah. There's a <laughs> there's another yeah. clatter on the other side. As you hear, I've already dismissed you, demon. Be gone, away from this place. And then some sort of chant in a foreign language. You're not can't quite place it. We only know Italian and English. Yeah. So and the phone clatters again. <laughs> like you can still hear me. <laughs> I guess uh, you will figure it out how to close the thing. <laughs> You'll figure out how to hang up the phone. <laughs> yeah. You know how great old people are at figuring out technology. Yep. Uh, <laughs> no, all too well. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just like load all the my rituals and stuff into the back of the wolf's voice. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? What are? What exactly are you taking with you? I can do at attitude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think yeah. he has that. His specialty is crying. Stumble oh, into that was, it. Carlo. This is Carlo. This is Mr. Martino right now. <laughs> Mr. Giovanni, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah he's, his, his last name evolved. I did you evolve it. Are we going to hyphenate Carlo Martino Giovanni? No, he, he subsumed the Giovanni. I am the Giovanni. I am... Do you yeah. have Giovanni blood going through your veins? The purest of the pure. <laughs> the, well, not the purest, but close enough. <laughs> but better than it was before. More, yeah. Hmm. I'll just want to create all the all, all the rituals. Uh, so uh, I can. Uh, which was uh, I can't pronounce them because they're in. Uh, I can't read my handwriting. <laughs> they're, they're written in some kind of ancient language. Yeah. Sarah Del Art, thanks for following. Yay. Can only be read by a Martino. <laughs> and I, 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 He's oh, a Giovanni no, now. Not. He lost his powers. I, I lost my powers of reading my rituals. The whole time. Uh, <laughs> I've evolved too far. I can't do the basic stuff anymore. <laughs> Oh, so you're a college student. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so you're you're taking the diary of rituals that uh yeah, you got, got from Mauricio in exchange for the gun in season one, right? That's what's happening? Yes. Cool, same page. Yeah, and I assume you're taking your ledger of financial records that you just pilfered from the slain Mauricio. Yes. What are you doing with the driver? Don't even drive. He has, more, he has more drugs to drive than I probably do. Okay, so he's driving for you? Yes. Okay, back to Jabril. What do you do? Well, uh, I'd go home for now. All right. 
see what's on the job board. When you arrive at the Spiritual Enlightenment Center, Zahid descends the stairs. Jabril, a demon was conjured by the talking box looking for you. It called itself Carlo and wishes you to go to Mark's house. And bring weapons. I don't trust it. Oh, man. So you're a <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> I always bring weapons, personally. Um, I And they're not always demons, I have found out. Some are telemarketers. <laughs> <laughs> no, some are demons. <laughs> wow, some are the most powerful kind of demon. Telemarketers. <laughs> yeah. Lowest ranking demon. <laughs> <laughs> At the ass end of the the pecking order. All right. Uh, well, grab what I need and be on my merry way. Okay. What, what time is it? In game. Ooh. Uh, we're gonna say. Fuck me, I forgot. Let's call it midnight. 8 a.m. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> Wait, it's past the bed. It's just Skyrim. You get to you get to fucking Mark's house and you're on fire. <laughs> or Skyrim when they change that. It could be thinking one of the uh, other yeah, yeah. It was uh, Oblivion. If you're, <laughs> if you're a vampire, you just fast traveled somewhere. It's like, ah, oh, it's daytime. Ah, oh, stupid. Why were you walking in the sun? How did I make it so far? <laughs> Klaus von Blittersdorf. Yes. Uh, you took your own car from the hotel where you met Mark Zantz, and uh, Ivan is driving you currently, yes? Uh, well, I, I went with him, but Ivan followed. Uh huh. Okay. So here's what happened. Uh, about halfway there, you sort of felt Mark, or you sort of saw Mark prick up as though he could hear something you couldn't. Something you're intimately familiar with, but you vaguely heard of vampire powers that might do something akin to that. A minute or two later, he looks at you and politely excuses himself, says that business is called, and he has to meet with Dracula about a house. But not to worry. He goes to a payphone, speaks with somebody, arranges to have everything taken care of before Ivan or Ivan picks you up, and he goes about his merry way. Anyway, about 15 minutes later, you arrive at a palatial house in the Beverly Hills, much like the one that you originally met Mark at. And as Ivan pulls into the circular driveway, the front door opens, and there's a striking, very beautiful woman in her early 20s. Dark, curled, shoulder-length hair. A exquisite red dress that could have only come from the very finest clothiers in the city. She descends the steps with a quiet grace, and there's something about her that seems to just draw your attention there and nail it to her. Something supernaturally powerful that pulls you towards her. <laughs> I get it. And she'll wait for you to exit the car. Oh yeah, walk up to her. Get out of here. Mr. Von Blitzersdorf, I presume? Yes. Who told you that name? That'd be me. You may call me Virginia. I represent Mr. Zance. He has asked me to make sure that all your comforts are seen to tonight. While we wait Mark. for the others to arrive. More people. It's going to be a fun-filled night. Quite. My master keeps a very colorful entourage. 
<laughs> you get all the colors. Say color. Clearly mean something else. I believe I said it the most polite way I could. You did. Shall uh, we then? Ah, but of course, as she opens the door for you. Uh, as she does so, lights pierce the darkness. And another car comes gliding silent like a phantom up the car park. A beautiful, beautiful Rolls Royce. Dark black tainted windows. Or in the back. <laughs> as the door opens, uh, Carlo, could you describe your character? Because I'll be honest, whenever you... I, I just kind of picture you guys. Like, in my head, this is just a LARP with the world's biggest budget, so... <laughs> go go ahead and tell him what what, what you look like. Uh, uh, like the world, the way I imagined him walking out of the car, though, is like, um, uh, what's the guy's name? Oh, um, fuck. Uh, do you have some, uh, no, not. Uh, yeah, if you want to have a teleprompter for your brain, I can't <laughs> sift out the information. You need to put the words. I know, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember the names. Uh, Adam, if this is an anime reference, we're going to have yeah. Dastro ban you. That's the, you can't ban me. <laughs> uh, well, well, what happened, Sarah Dale? Did, did somebody remind you of the game? Is is that is that the game that you lost? Because if so, I I just lost the game too. Wow, I haven't heard that in so long. Right, dude. Uh, see, Valernos knows what's up. I just I I picture them as the characters. Except, except Byrick Ash. I picture Byrick Ash well, as that. Honestly, whenever I imagined Carlo, I imagined either, depending on the situation, Luigi or Waluigi in a nice suit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's Monster nice. Waluigi? <laughs> <laughs> he's always crying because crying he's not in Smash still. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin, but crying. Yeah. If I go then with the yeah, well Luigi like a well Luigi looking fellow. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well it's not an anime reference, Adam. <laughs> Alright, there you go, guys. That's Carlo Martino looks like a mafioso fucking Waluigi. Yeah, we need a meme of it so we can uh, replace the character with <laughs> Jesus Adam. <laughs> <laughs> also, good evening, Sarah. Glad you could join us. He will. All right, so Waluigi steps out of the fucking car. <laughs> and Virginia sort of... You can almost hear her skin crack as she plasters this very forced smile to her face and says, Ah, here's one now. Mr. Von Blitzersdorf as he sort of ascends the walkway. Might I present Mr. Carlo Martino? That's a mouthful. Um, uh, Kyle, how's your intelligence politics? Existent? Uh, three total. You've heard things about Carlo. None of them particularly flattering, other than he was one of the ones that liberated the city. <laughs> he, uh, you're not quite sure what's true and what's not, but seems to be a bit of a weird duck. Ambry 4, we're very happy that you caught us live. Welcome, and hello. So Adam, you gotta tell him, like, no, no. It's Giovanni now. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> don't worry, I brought my own food. <laughs> Adam, you should have gone in. You should have leaned into the meme and been Luigi. Luigi's Mansion. He's the only one that's fucked with ghosts. <laughs> it's too late. No. Well, Luigi. You <laughs> missed an opportunity. You had an opportunity and you missed it. Of course, I, I say that, and then you would have been walking around with a fucking vacuum cleaner on your back. So you know what? I'm just going to shut the fuck up until I'm asked to say things. <laughs> uh. 
So what does it sound like when he cries and uses his specialty? <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm not in Smash. <laughs> Making my way downtown. Walking. <laughs> All those fucking Waluigi songs. Exactly, Sarah. It breaks your, it breaks your mind just a little bit. Uh, it's so anyway. Good, though. Are we sure Carlo doesn't have demontation, or at least Adam doesn't? <laughs> the floor is yours. I, I, I pass it to you. Hey. Uh, good to meet you, Mr. Vinderstorfer. Von Blitzerstorfer. Von, is that is that the middle name, or is that part of the last name? I'm confused. It's, it's <laughs> part of the last name. <laughs> okay. Can I call you Von for short? <laughs> the name that's not actually your name, can I use that part? You can call me Klaus. <laughs> Klaus, okay. I really wish you just said no. Call me Vaughn. <laughs> I'll call you Vaughn. <laughs> no, Word you may not call me Vaughn. Don't talk to me ever again. Okay, tell, tell me what, what the fun is getting at. I just see the right uh, So, Klaus, um, were you with Mark Zenz earlier? You know yeah, what he is? We're having a chat and a drink. Hmm. <clears throat> you uh, expect them to arrive soon? Or. Say that again. Oh. You, uh, what do you think of this man? What do you think of Zensa? He's a, he's a nice guy. He's a fun fellow. So far. A real stand-up guy. I've enjoyed my talk with him. To say the least. And Looking that weird... forward to getting the rest of you colorful band of Cohorts. Oh uh, yes, we are. Uh, definitely a colorful band. That that is, the, that is the nicest way to put it. We are colorful. Let us retire to the drawing room, shall we? Excellent idea. Let's go. She will show you to a very sort of well-appointed sitting area. Two very plush stuffed chairs. A couch on one wall, a cold hearth. The ash caked on at this point has not been lit in quite a while. Lovely, lovely view of Los Angeles from the window as the silver moonlight streams in. Mr. Von Blitzersdorf, can I fetch you anything? I would love a drink. Do you have any particular tastes? Mmm... How would you like your beverage aged? Do you have Something a preference? With a, a little wine in it, if you don't mind. I <laughs> will most certainly see what I can do. Thank you. Carlo? Yes. Sir. No, I brought my own. <laughs> would you like good. anything? Uh, not. Not the moment, no. <laughs> he reaches into his pocket and brings out a squishy bag. A spaghetti? <laughs> a spaghetti flavored blood. <laughs> what is this? Spaghetti sauce and tampon squeezings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, we return to you. <laughs> Loose pads. <laughs> the... <laughs> I can imagine that being somebody's heard, though. Like, no! I don't know if that would, be, I don't know if that would count, though. Did they come as a heard? I don't know. I, don't tell her. I think that's more of a fucking farm <laughs> because you're not actually <laughs> harvesting anything live. Okay, thanks for being here, Sarah. We appreciate you. Have have a good day at work. Hopefully, hopefully your shift goes well. And remember, 
This is Carlo now. <laughs> yeah, this is Carlo. And we can this can never be taken back. The figure yeah. leads you wordlessly away from the monastery. Lord of Conquest now following. Hello, Lord of Conquest. Yo. Wait, you were here watching Adam do Carlo and you decided to still follow? Thanks. <laughs> we guy. appreciate the... Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> he sort of leads you into... I won't say a remote part of the desert, but definitely a place where you can talk and not be disturbed. He seats himself on a rather large rock, points across from him, and invites you to do the same. And as he does so, you can see the moonlight shine on his full countenance, and you can see that there's not shadow in front of his face at all. Every bit of his features, from the pigment of his skin, to the sclera of his eyes, to the iris, to even his tongue and his teeth as he speaks, is pure black as night, as obsidian, as darkness itself. Hey, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take any reason that uh, you guys want to be, or any reason you want to be here at all. So, uh, who's hosting us, though? I'm curious. Was it Coolimp? Because I think, I think he's the only I, one that does. I hope it's literally nobody related to us, or even having to do with tabletop <laughs> stuff at all. Um, Onyx Path Onyx. still hosts us? Oh my oh, god, man. awesome! I didn't know that. We, we uh, actually... They must really like us. <laughs> or I they love... forgot. Or they forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we used to be on their Twitch stream, but uh, our, our game schedule is a little bit erratic, so uh, they kind of bumped us off for somebody else, because... But, no hard feelings. We get it. We love you, OP. Mr. Watson, you haven't joined us in a stream for a while. Come back. We miss you. So then, child of Marconius, you had questions for me, yes? That I do, and you have questions for me as well. Well... I suppose I should be a generous host. Speak your mind. <sighs> Very well, if you insist. God damn it. Everything's tangled! And my battery's dying! There is no god! <laughs> okay! <laughs> uh... Yeah, our dear our dear Josh cannot join us tonight, unfortunately. Damn shame. I, I genuinely believe he's probably the greatest role player out of all of us. So if this is the first time you're you're watching us, you're uh you're missing a treat. <laughs> it's a really good use. Okay. So as you can and pro as you can clearly tell, I have dabbled with a form of the abyss, though I have not taken it to such an extreme, and I wish to have a better grasp of this knowledge. As I sit down and cross my legs. I'm sure you realize that there are many who would say the same. The question is whether or not the... Queerant, shall we call them... What'd you call me? ...is prepared for such a thing. The Abyss is... ...power, yes, but to put it in... ...so vulgar terms... ...so simple terms doesn't breach it the abyss is alive in a way it is a piece of reality of existence carved from the hand of god itself and the creatures that dwell there to call them dangerous would be an understatement dangerous is what happens when a zoo animal becomes uncaged 
creatures of the abyss can do terrible things to the very fabric of your being. It can expose you to horrific knowledge that you never wanted and would be happier without. Are you saying this is what happened to you? I'm saying it's a price that I had to pay once. That's the price of letting the darkness you, you. You stand here, or sit here, and continue to exist. And one way or shape or form, you still exert some sort of force upon this world. Whether you choose to or not. Could I ask your name? After all, it seems only appropriate that we get to know each other if we are to speak so intimately. My name is Byrick Ashley. I thought it was Ashford. No. Huh. I wonder why I thought that. Well then, Mr. Ashley, it is a pleasure. <laughs> and you may call me, though I have not used the name in longer than I care to remember, Sir Fernando Mateo de Santiago. I Ooh. was brought into the night several hundred years ago. In my mortal days, I served the Inquisition. I saw <laughs> things that I thought could prepare me for anything. I saw the auto de fe's. I saw the streets alight with the suffering, the screaming, the repentant. I thought there was nothing on earth that could possibly surprise me, could possibly scar me, could possibly disturb me anymore after all those years. And I came under the night I was proven wrong. And when I chose to delve the depths of what was truly a part of my blood, I was proven wrong yet again. Do you understand what I'm saying? You've taken at least one of those steps. Possibly you've seen violence as poor as I have if you have been among the Knights for a time. Uh, that is correct. I'm no stranger to violence. Truly grotesque in nature as well. So then, seeing what you have seen, can you look me in the eyes? No, not really. Can you tell me that you are truly able to take that third step? <laughs> I stare into his black face as he stares into my black eyes. <laughs> Can't you do it? <laughs> I am far more prepared. To grasp this power than you think. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> bodies in the shape of that was not me. <laughs> That's true. Mark Zance did that. Mark Zance and Jabril did that. No, Nazis did it. <laughs> and that was a long time. Ago. But like we're at World War II. Say, are you ready to surrender your soul to the darkness? Ugh, the dankness. Are you gonna come back with an edge of your line like, Ugh, I can't surrender my soul if I don't have one. <laughs> so fucking cool! I've seen things you even haven't even heard about. 
way up in Canada. I I know what's to come. I know what the I've seen a darkness far greater than the abyss. I've seen weeaboos. <laughs> In the future. I'm Very more well. than prepared to to sacrifice what little part of my soul is left. After all, what's one more sacrifice? <laughs> it's only my way. <laughs> 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 There's only Moe. Perhaps a test, then. He held, holds out his hand. And you can see the night itself begin to twist and turn, warping the space around his hand. Eventually, he holds up an inky black ball of pure darkness. The deepest darkness, the deepest shadow that you've ever seen in your life, pure, untainted by even the light of the moon above you, as if not even that could penetrate its reaches. And he proffers it in your direction. Stare into it. Stare deeply. You'll know if you can handle what you see soon enough. <laughs> is, is this black the darkest black we get? Or is it even further? <laughs> or can we go even dark? Vsauce Michael here. <laughs> <laughs> is this black? This is black. Or is it? <laughs> Very well. I will play this little game and I will stare into the abyss. Alright. Where is my bookmark? Eh. Also, it turns out that I had more. I had the power from Miss Atsira that I wanted all along. I just. <laughs> you forgot? <laughs> yeah. I only need one more dot to get the fucking. Final power. Shit, man. Alright. Byrick Ash stares into the sphere of darkness. I could take this guy's abilities rings. Jibril. Yes. How do you arrive at Mark's mansion? Well, are you taking Skeharazad? Uh, I kind of want to. Doesn't need the colorful theme. But... Celerity Camel Ho. <laughs> I got my own personal fast travel. And the best part is, even if I'm bleeding and dying, she can still take me home. God damn, this really turns everything upside down. I don't know what is for my XP on now. I need a camel whistle. What? I need a camel whistle. You know, a whistle for camels. I thought I heard missile, a camel pistol. <laughs> I need a camel pistol just in case she hurts her hoof. <laughs> Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. <laughs> but not for me. Ah, all right. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so oh, yes. Taking my uh, fantastic fast travel camel. The lovely Skeherazad. All right, as you navigate the back roads uh, to avoid the horrific masquerade breach that is a camel probably running about Mach 2. Oh. Uh, Twice the speed of sound. Well, I'm I'm exaggerating for comedic effect, but imagine a camel moving with that fucking vampire blur. That's fucking awesome. 
It's like, ah, yes, she's a special breed. How much celerity does Alucard have? So fast, her hooves catch on fire. Ghost can. Yeah, Valernos, you're not wrong. I mean, there's probably at least a 20% chance that anybody who sees it just thinks it's the drugs. You arrive at the gates of Mark Zance's mansion. And slowly, they part, roll open as if you've been expected. <laughs> I guess I... No, snitched. Yusuf. South Park taught me that the other Canada is French Canada. It's true. There's there's French Canada and the rest of Canada. But that's And the other Canada is a bougie Canada. If you lived here for a day, you'd understand. That's... Why were you German? Is that is that how that came out? Because I can't do voices, Tom. It's a weakness. You better than I can. I can't do that. <laughs> like you can go with a more subtle <gasps> voice, or you can go really far. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I get where everything's paid in baguettes. <laughs> I will, uh, I guess I'll get down and walk in and smack Skaharas out on the ass to go home. <laughs> As she disappears <laughs> in a cloud of dust. <laughs> the door opens. And you see Virginia standing there. Mr. Jones, I trust your trip here was not... She looks over your shoulder to see the camel receding into the distance. <laughs> Terribly uncomfortable. Making fires? Is the big fire like um, the Ghost Riders? Um, horse? <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> if I can be Arabic Ghost Rider? <laughs> That's your dream. That shit would be so dope. But uh, I don't think I'll be able to do that with this character. Mainly because, you know... Catching on fire is usually a bad thing. Alright. Uh, uh, well, the, uh, the saddle I have is very comfortable. Thank you. Glad to hear it. Uh, the others are in the drawing room. I regret to inform you Mr. Zance himself will not be joining us, at least not yet. I will have refreshments prepared very soon, however. Please do follow me. Very well. I don't think I've been to Mark Zance's place since the time skip, have I? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Probably Did his house get uh, that, that's, for, that's an ask for him. Play a basement. He just got he's got a Sears in the backyard now, but other than that. <laughs> got a swimming pool at every level. Got one in the bathroom too. With the uh, tub in the pool. A who done it at the Zance man mansion? Honestly, Valernos, I feel like I feel like this is like they wanted to make an Ocean Eleven sequel, but they couldn't get George Clooney. Aw. <laughs> ha ha. Uh, I imagine such a thing would not go over well. The door to well, the luckily... room opens. Mr. Martino, Mr. Von Blittersdorf, may I present Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones. We've we met. <laughs> you, you, see... <laughs> you see the familiar Waluigi in one chair. <laughs> <laughs> and the other a vampire you don't quite recognize. I'll uh, bow and say, ah, Mr. Von Blittersdorf, I assume? That would be me. How do you do? Ah, ah, I'm alive another night. There. Uh, might I ask what business you have with... Uh, Mr. Zance, are you a potential partner? More or less. A uh, potential friend. You could think of. Oh, Mr. Zance has many friends. True. I'm uh, mostly around to 
I guess, help get the rabble to understand their place. <laughs> Put the rabble in the place. They have to understand. They're not human. And I'll look to Carlo. Ah, Carlo, how have you been? I see you're still well, you. That, well, that's what I'm here to tell you. Um, <laughs> you're no longer me. I am. <laughs> I'm Halloween. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. So wait, was he was he Wario and then he evolved to Waluigi? Like, drow <laughs> like drowsy to Hypno? I'm pretty sure that's that's de evolution because they had that Wario <laughs> games. <laughs> and is in Smash. Uh. <sighs> So that's what I'm here to tell you about, but I guess, uh, our, hello, our venture is in here, and our venture is in here, uh, <laughs> will, uh, Mr. Ash be joining us tonight? I don't know how to get in contact with him, or else I would, uh, try to, uh, oh, what happened? So that, uh, Who'd we lose? It was Xavier. Uh, it was, no, it was uh, Kyle. Oh. Oh, there he is. Wait, no, no. Uh, wait, Kyle, you there? Yes. Hooray. Now I have to figure out which one is Kyle, because... There we go. Alright, so it's no longer Charlie's oh. phone that goes off that marks the stream. It's now when someone eventually disconnects and Charlie has to redo the cameras. <laughs> no, we're good. <laughs> we are good. Hey, we'll go ah. to the Conquest then. We suck. We don't deserve to be hosted by Onyx Path. We love you guys. <laughs> We're trying. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> All right. Hey, Xavier, how much empathy does your character have? None. Uh... Oh, yeah, I don't have any. No. Oh, he okay. has okay. zero empathy. All right, then. Never mind about that. Does anyone have empathy? I do. I have zero empathy. <laughs> How can Barry Gaff have the most empathy? I don't understand. That is quite funny. <laughs> you can't hurt people enough if you don't understand them. Yeah. I guess that's true. <laughs> he hurts them emotionally and then he shoots them. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife left you because you're a failure as a husband. <laughs> <laughs> we are deeply grateful you think so, Valeranos. <laughs> Alright. As far as reaching Mr. Ash, uh, we can... He, he has a residence that he's usually at. Though he doesn't always like to be disturbed. Yep, that's what I'm afraid of. I don't want to get um, shot. shot in the head. Shot in the head. <laughs> and, as, and as far as a weapon goes, have you acquired one yet? I had one, but then I threw it at a car and it blew up. Well, I don't know how to use them yet, but I have ten, or is it eight rings or ten rings? I don't remember. Uh, we'll say eight. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Eight. Ten. Ah, well, a brawler are we? Do the rings do things? Well, do you know, as you know, the Giovanni are talk to ghosts. Each one of the rings has a ghost. Oh, okay. I don't know who the and ghosts that, are yet, but hmm. I have them now. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. But yes, I can also punch with them. Yes. <laughs> Ring shatters, unleashes the ghost, like, oh no. <laughs> can I fit a break? I don't know. We'll try it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look over to Mr. Von Blitterdorf and I'll uh, ask, have you seen 
uh, combat, Mr. Von Blittersdorf. Uh, you, you could certainly say that. Oh, good. Because, uh, uh, as you will soon find out, Los Angeles is a, uh, is, is still very much the Wild West. Can't say I spent a lot of time in your Wild West, but, uh, I'll look forward to it. There seldom goes a night where I, I do not have conflicts with others. Is, is that a city thing or a personal? I do believe it's a city thing. I like to think of myself as a, uh, a do-gooder. Holy shit, Yusuf, Yusuf's got a point. I don't know. Should uh, should we let the the chat slash the Discord decide who Carlos Eight Ghosts are? Yes. Oh man. Yes. Yeah. Kyle, I see you smiling. Is that is that unanimous? I'm. I mean, yeah. I might, might as well. I'm all for community involvement. Even though. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Like yeah. the newest. They choose one. half, and then we make half. The rest of us will... And Adam, you don't actually get to choose your ghosts. We're all going to make them for you. Yeah. I mean, I... technically he stole them, so yeah, he doesn't get to choose his ghosts. <laughs> I can choose my friends, but I can't choose my ghosts. You know what? That that sounds fun as shit. All right. <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> so you... Yes. you... Do yourself as an amiable person, then. Uh, I believe so. Uh, me and my uh, organization want to do good in the community. To the point that uh, people come to us for help, and we are more than willing to oblige. Feels a little Ooh. out of character for our lot, but sure. I like to think that uh, our current state is shouldn't define the kind of people we are, typically. Too many of us are awful, selfish, greedy things, even before we turned. And it seems the transformation just amplifies that. Mm. Touch of class never really hurt anyone. But hot lead will always hurt somebody. So, True. and luckily for us in this country, it's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy. Guns just rain down from the sky here. <laughs> I told you this goes. Oh man, could you imagine? Okay, one, of, one of your rings is Adolf. Okay, we're not we're not we're not putting Hitler into a ring. No, no, no Goebbels, no Gehring, no no shit like that. Well, I mean, he's Giovanni, Italian. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> I oh, I hear where you're going, Tom. Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Mussolini. Actually, I, I don't think Chef Boyardee's dead yet. Didn't you he know, die that's, that's a good point. I'm, I'm, I'm maintaining veto power over these ghosts. I will accept 99.9% .9 of shit. One of them's just an old seeing eye dog. <laughs> Who put that into... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chef Boy already dies in the 80s, so yeah, that can't be one of them. I missed that guy. You weren't even alive for that guy. So? I can still miss someone and their impact on the world. Ah, oh, Mr. <laughs> Kellogg! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Okay, I need to start writing shit down.
just runs around trying to throw <laughs> ghost cereal at people to stop their. He'll be a serial killer. Serious ways. <laughs> Quit touching yourself. Quit touching yourself. Like no, seriously. Uh, serious. Ke- Cobbs. Kellogg is the reason that uh, people get circumcised. Like outside of the Jewish religion, he popularized circumcision to try and get people to stop touching themselves. The cornflakes guy. He also viewed cornflakes being a food. If I remember right, cornflakes being a food that would reduce libido and therefore make people stop touching themselves as much. I mean, I don't know if it reduces libido, but it definitely reduces sex appeal. Because like, if you eat if you eat cornflakes, are you gonna really be getting pussy? Probably not. Plain I mean, he plain. he was wrong either way, but oh yeah, Fuck absolutely. It. Man, in the morning I eat plain cornflakes, and in the evening I drink vanilla milkshakes. <laughs> what? What an awful plain ass person. <laughs> My favorite spice is flour. <laughs> oh boy, what's this sauce? It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Uh, that's mayonnaise. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Jones, yes. this, uh, Man, this before you Mark- ask, no, Jones isn't my real last name. I just needed a name I, when I came into the country. That, that's, I, I couldn't possibly care less um i've been thinking about changing it call, call yourself what you want honestly Can but is your, your martino friend here is, is he a little <laughs> not not a full <laughs> box of pencils kind of guy cool. are you saying that. this like right in front of him <laughs> do it yeah power move <laughs> That Mr. Carlo is admittingly the uh, what, Luigi? The, one, the one with the the, the strangest uh, abilities of all of us, uh, all of us having really? a certain role to fill, and Carlo just he's Carlo, and I'm, it works out. I'm kind of offended by that statement. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was the demented one. Carlos is Carlo in his own little way. He, he uh, seems friendly enough, but uh, I wonder what he's like outside of the halls here. I I guarantee you he's exactly the same no matter where he is. I, I can respect. <laughs> well, the reason I gathered the reason I got here today, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I was hoping Mark would be here, but I um. The other is my cousin. <laughs> I'm sorry, you... You diablerized your cousin. Okay, well, yeah. from what I've heard with you, with you Giovanni, that's doing things with your cousins is normal. Uh, yeah, was, was this like a Roman thing or like a West Virginia thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. It's a... The suck, the suck is the same as <laughs> Just keep skipping me more questions, no answers. Uh, now, Carlo Mr. is an enigma. Carlo, have you, have you diabolized anyone before? Uh, about an hour and a half ago. That was, that was your first time. Did I remember? Yes. Are are you okay? I don't know. He's right. I don't know, man. I'm tweaking. I've been crying. I've been crying since then, so I don't know. It's not coming out anymore. The the tears won't come out anymore. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, Now, which uh, which cousin did you you have a Because you have a big family. Uh, just the head of the Giovanni. Oh, what was that all? Yes. Can I have another <laughs> drink? <laughs> just, you know, the head of the family in this area. That's who I diablo. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's why I... Uh, oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I know we're pretty separated 
from the more established parts of the world, but it's still some hot water you're landing <laughs> your your coterie here in. And Carlo, do you realize you might have initiated a power struggle within your family that uh, I'm not sure that we know how to deal with? That's why uh, I asked for you guys to help me get on top. And then with you, if I get on top, I can help you guys get up on top of whatever you guys want to do. Uh, I guess. Please stop saying get yeah, on top. Gonna, you can get on top and do whatever you want to do. You really like... Is this an innuendo, or...? No, I just believe Mr. Carlos is not terribly good with his words. I understand I, English I can... is a weird language. It, it will take time, but maybe I can also hope to unravel some of this magnificent vessel. Oh, well... As you are, uh, if, as you are contemplating the magnificent vessel, let us return to Byrick Ash. Byrick, he holds this globe of pure blackness in front of you, and bids you to stare deeply into it. Now to stare deeply back into me. Ho oh, ho, Nietzschean! I like it. As as your eyes sort of sink into this. It winks at you. <laughs> Imagine as though you were staring into an, an ocean, but one of almost near transparency, one that you could see all the way to the bottom. Now imagine you were on a boat standing over the Marianas Trench looking into that ocean, and it just goes, and it goes, and it goes, and your eyes attempt to see it, they look for a bottom they attempt to make sense of what they're seeing but there is none your eyes seem to vanish into this tiny sphere this tiny sphere as far as they can go to a horizon that isn't there almost like falling as you look deep into this thing a most horrible twisted cold peels through you, seems to file its way through your pores, under your skin, into your bones, into the depths of soul, it's your soul itself, and as you do so, there's this quick sensation, like these frozen shards of glass that have been kept in a freezer rake across your mind. What do you do? <laughs> what do I do? Do what? What do you mean? Like inside my mind? What do you do? You do you look away? Do you keep staring? What do you do inside your mind? Tell me how Byrick Ash thinks, feels, acts in this moment. Honestly, I think he'd start laughing. When I <laughs> that slow, slow like Ganondorf laugh, just, just. The... <laughs> <laughs> in your peripheral vision you think you can register a small jerk of surprise from uh from sir de santiago this guy's like oh bro he's fucking he's fucking gone but you're not entirely <laughs> certain because a split second later you realize you have no peripheral vision everything's been subsumed by this darkness you look around yourself That's all that you can see. the rocks are gone the desert is gone the night sky above you all gone you are in the center of this endless ocean you can feel some sort of floor or ground below you there appears to be gravity maybe but then as you begin to consider the question it gives way. You fall until you question it again and stop. I fall, but when I... No, wait, what? When you begin to question the fact that there's a gravity, the gravity disappears. You fall. When you realize you're falling, you stop again. Then I invert my expectations. 
Interesting, in what way? Instead of expecting gravity, at least in the way how I would interpret it, I would expect the ocean un under me to now crush me. Interesting. As you expect it to crush you, clearly it doesn't, but you are at once just overwhelmed by the enormity of wherever you happen to be. Can I get a perception roll, please? Perception awareness. Uh, it's, of course, the one I have less of. <laughs> As per tradition. Oh, my. Uh, diff six? Yes, sir. Five successes. Five successes. But no tens. That's unfortunate. At first, you find yourself in perfect quiet, almost like a sensory deprivation chamber. But as you sort of become aware, as you attune yourself to the enormity of this place, the sound starts like a low hiss, begins to bleed into your periphery, into your, into your hearing. And as the hiss grows louder, you can begin to distinguish it as these whispers, these tiny little whispers that seem far off, but at the same time, right next to you. And there's hundreds, thousands, maybe millions of them in all sort of esoteric languages. In languages you've never heard before, in language you didn't know existed. What does Byrick do now? Screech at the darkness. <laughs> I re at the darkness and hope that the darkness re's back. <laughs> I want to focus in on one, one language to the best of my ability. Okay. You can't understand the language per se it seems to come to you in syllables that are difficult to describe how you wouldn't even realize how to vocalize on it, it seems to play with every octave every range of sound far beyond the limits of the human voice and it seems to just be the, this keening lament of despair of constant despair, of forsaken, of endless agony that shifts between sadness and rage and then back again in this never-ending tumult. Though you can't understand the words, the emotion is plain to you. It's pure agony. <laughs> and if I focus on another another voice, I would assume it would be the same. Very similar, yes. Perhaps a, a different mix of the milieu of emotions, but similar nonetheless. Then... I wish to pierce my own veins and add my voice to the agony. Ah! <laughs> uh, Interesting. What do you say? What do I say? What would I say? I hate the music of today. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Bobby Darren! <laughs> all, all these rock and roll songs about the sex?
<laughs> what is that? <laughs> huh. I did not consider what he would say. <laughs> no. Have you never felt pain? Do you want some time to think about it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Then we return to our, our gentleman in the mansion. No, I'm in the abyss. <laughs> I mean, a pretty baller way is, you know, if this if this goes well, that you just kind of, like, come up from a void in the middle of the room. So, <laughs> I, hope, I hope it goes well for you. Like, I... Just, like, just shows up, tendrils of darkness around you, and just, like, coterie. I have descended. <laughs> become one with the abyss. <laughs> this world will be coming to an end. I thought it fair to warn you. <laughs> so to be extra accurate, shouldn't he like descend from like a void pool in the ceiling? <laughs> I have descended. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> All right. So, Carla, what brought on your consuming of your cousin's soul? Uh, it's a long, oh. it's it's a long story. You gotta go watch my prologue. <laughs> I mean, what was it any good? I think my prologue was, was funny, I think, but I don't I know. didn't even watch my prologue. Well, I meant was was eating your cousin. <laughs> Did it taste any good? I mean, like... <laughs> hey, Carlo, how'd your cousin taste? <laughs> that is a scale of 1 to 10 meatballs, where'd you put this? <laughs> Nothing can beat my meatballs. <laughs> um, shit. Like an 8. <laughs> It gave, it gave me regret, but then it... Or not regret, <laughs> it gave me, um... <laughs> I ate it while I was eating it. It felt pretty good, but I got immense regret out of it. Yeah, 8 yeah. out of 10. Would still recommend this place. <laughs> yeah. Except they're out of food now. <laughs> yeah. Out of There's only one thing I feel after eating Wendy's. <laughs> it feels good, but I feel regret afterwards. <laughs> it's like Taco Bell. Tastes good, feels bad. <laughs> Ten out. I see it. He's more garlic. Could use more garlic. So you. Did you, was this a spur of a moment thing? Was this a plan you had the entire time? Do it, cause I, I, I don't know if I remember telling you, but uh, there was some uh, paperwork from whenever I was an underling, uh, more underling, uh, I guess. Even more of an underling. Yeah. From when I was an intern. <laughs> from when I was an intern at the Giovanni. Intern's assistant. Assistant, assistant intern. <laughs> And I messed up. I messed up um, files on the on uh, moving money, moving money over. But uh, it yes, I'm, yeah. I'm familiar with the concepts. Uh, Mr. Mr. Zance, I believe, brought the brought the country to its knees because he missed put place some money. Yes, I did the same thing, but I didn't. It was, well, I thought I did the same thing, but it wasn't me. The Changed it afterwards, uh, so I did it right. But they made me doubt myself, uh, and my cousin was the mastermind of it. Oh, so okay. I, for part of the mastermind, uh, so no. I had to, mm -hmm. so you were betrayed. Okay, that that's understandable. So as you can see, it was it was so good, but it wasn't good. <laughs> 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 it felt good, but it, it felt really nasty afterwards. Well, yeah, that's what you get for doing it with your cousin. <laughs> well, Carlo, I, I should... You should know that this, this, this is a permanent mark on your soul. And everyone's yep. going to judge you for it. 
But when I don't tell hear, him, are they really gonna judge him for it? Oh, Carlo is special. I feel like they might have other reasons to judge him for that. <laughs> yeah. If you know the story of my of back in the day before the revolution, there was some uh, other things I regret. <laughs> <laughs> other regretful actions that shall not be mentioned. I forgot the suitcase full of money. <laughs> I'm I'm sure as amazing as these stories will be. Uh, perhaps we should focus at the the power vacuum at hand. Yes, Carlo. You what now are, created. What are we going to do next? Do you, do you do we still need to break into the mansion? Is that necessary? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, or I don't know. I would assume you guys would know. <laughs> um. Yes, because if one thing Malkavians are known for, it's knowing the ins and outs of the Giovanni's power structure. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll start simple, Carla. Does anybody know that your cousin's dead? Yes, you too. And myself and Mark Zansa. Is that it? How how close do you look like your cousin? <laughs> well, that's the difference between Luigi and Waluigi. You figure that out. Or was it was he Mario? Not enough. This is what I'm, I'm getting. Uh, so, how how well guarded would you say this this mansion is? Well. It's pretty damn. Uh, well, that really, it's it has guards at the front, but everybody in there is a capable v Giovanni, unlike myself. <laughs> I mean, you diabolize the head of that organization. I think you're more capable than you're giving yourself credit. And now you, you have that. eight ghosts to do something. But I haven't even talked to them yet. So I guess you just... effectively have eight spans. <laughs> Interesting. But can I use them all at once? I don't know. But it overwhelmed me. Alright, so. I, I guess a better question for you is how hard would it be for us to go and get access to this mansion? Now that your your cousin's out of the way. Does is that like an open door for us, or is this gonna be like fighting inch by inch? Because I know I can get in. Because I'm still, but I still they still know that I'm. They, they still think he's alive, so I can still walk in in and out. But I can't take all his records and all the things. That, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yusuf. He's... You can. Yusuf is just on the shores of what we have known the whole time. You know that... You ever heard us make that joke about I can only stop space and time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was Adam and his demon deciding that his powers were useless for a heist. So like, gee, we need to break into this place. Uh, I can't do anything, guys. I can only <laughs> control space and time. <laughs> Yep. And, and he can control space, time, and bend light. But, but I, didn't have, I didn't have any... You don't need but, any of that. I didn't have any faith, or what was it? Faith, or... What was the thing, yeah? You have, like, you I just, think you had, like, one or two faith. Yeah, yeah. you just didn't look at your powers. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well. If you can still get in, that's easy. All we need to do uh, is I just need to go in right behind you, unseen. However, what it can account for is the ghosts. Spooky. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that works. How, Xavier doesn't know how that works. Can ghosts see obfuscated? Well, because ghosts don't have brains, right? Um, the thing of it is. 
How's Jabriel's occult? And is this Jabriel asking or uh, Xavier asking? Uh, well, Jabril will, will, will Jabril will think, and Xavier's going to ask you. Xavier's going to ask me. Okay, so uh, do you remember how in Josh's Inquisitor campaign, my character mm -hmm. sister Maria has constant auspects going on as a risen? Mm -hmm. They because wraiths have life sight. They have boosted yeah. senses, so they can see into the uh, what's the word I'm looking? They can see into the skin lands. There... Well, 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 Risen can, but can goes from a ring do the same thing. As far as I understand, yes, because it's the same power. So it okay. would probably it would probably just come down to your deck stealth versus their perception awareness. Oh, okay. Because like, because I mean, playing Wraith, they still had the same limitations, right? Like, we couldn't see through walls because it's a fucking wall. Right. Oh, that's what you're asking then. Yeah, they're, they're, they don't have like X-ray vision. Yeah, like like so it's like it's... okay. But if you're asking if they can see through obfuscate, then it's possible. Yeah. At least at least my understanding of the wad says it's possible. Okay. But you said they have seen life, but. Uh -huh, but I'm dead. Yeah, he's undead. Well, they have death sight too, Adam. Does that make you happy? No. It makes it harder no. now. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the heist harder, Chaz. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, now what would you bro get? Uh, how's his occult? Uh, two. Um, roll it. Let's try intelligence occult diff eight. Okay. D10, D10. That's a D6. I'm going to roll that. Hey, come on. Actually, you know what? let's do a diff seven because there's two necromancers that you are intimately familiar with. Mm. Yeah, it's three successes. Three successes. Okay. So at some point during the time skip, uh, you don't quite remember exactly what happened, but there was a time when you were trying to obfuscate around Jack Parsons, and uh, Jack was able to see you like you were standing there. So you think maybe it's about a 50 50 about whether it works or not? Okay. Uh, so yes, I can go in undetected with you. Uh, any particularly vigilant ghost might see me. Uh, but, I mean, do they have just ghosts running around? Carlo, it, it, do their family just have ghosts running around? Do they? I don't know. Do, I, do they chance uh... Adam! You've been yeah. there! Yeah, but... Would they? Remind me. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, I remember now. They, they had do, yes. Yeah, that one guy that was upstairs that was uh, on the rocking Fucking chair. Adam, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. It's all coming back to me. It's like, like a flashback. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Adam doesn't right. remember his missions. Tom doesn't remember his powers. <laughs> uh, okay. I think I have more powers than Carlo has missions. True. <sighs> okay, yeah. So I can try to get an undetected with you. You can walk me in and walk me out. Um... The ghost might be a problem. Uh, do you have some kind of solution for that? Do you have some kind of anti-ghost warding? I don't believe so. Take a whole so. bunch of salt with us? Or... <laughs> no. <laughs> two. And, so. and I need, I need, I think I need one or two more dots and quietus to be able to cut ghosts with my blood. Oh. Hey. Let's. Uh... The less. Or we can go shopping for a magical sword that can cut ghosts, anyways. Shopping Stand. montage. <laughs> so yeah. No, we're yeah, gonna. Or you can, or you can just cut them off. Okay. Gonna... Adam just this poking my like pipe. Giovanni talking. ghost, but yeah. Yeah. This Giovanni I ghost. I mean, guy. Giovanni's in their name, right? Just using ghosts as Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> 
pretty much I have eight slots of, of ghosts. Carlo just really, really likes Lavender Town. <laughs> you have eight fucking ghosts, all of them traded, and no badges. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> having having uh, two more Pokemon doesn't matter when they're all ghost types. Great idea, Valernos. Uh, we actually have statted up uh, Zahid, Zahid, though, and uh, he does not have Thaumaturgy. He's, he's actually he's... not even a Banu Hakim. He's a, he's a gangrel. Yeah. Daystra! It's okay, we uh, forgive you. Just ban Adam real fast. <laughs> he's not modded right now. Oh, that's right. You had one job, Daystra, one job. And you mean Xavier, not Adam. Well, I said Adam earlier. But all right. Twitch, you can't ban me. <laughs> Cause you didn't do your job. He told you to. He told you to mute Xavier. You didn't want to mute Xavier. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> your powers have been revoked. You have no power here. Well, I don't have power to do for you there. So. All right. Uh, yeah. So, Carlo, uh, we can sure. either make a very large and seriously uh, though, Daystro, we love you. Welcome, buddy. Sorry. Continue. And and uh, problematic. Uh, distraction elsewhere, and perhaps the ghost will be drawn to that. So, uh, have you used any of these ghosts? I was going to with, um, with Mark, so we can uh, both learn together. <laughs> so oh, so he can it? tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he can manipulate me as he wills. <laughs> uh. Uh, uh, so next question, where exactly would we need to go? Is it upstairs, downstairs, main floor? Upstairs. Uh... Upstairs? Yes. Okay, well that makes it easier to get out, I guess. Through the window? How many, how many windows does this place have? You know, just, just give me a 3D model. Use it up, make it out of Play-Doh, I don't care. But I'm pretty sure there are blacked out fizz that... No vampires? No vampires allowed. <laughs> no as vampires we continue, uh, as you guys continue the conversation, <laughs> let's go back to Byrakash real fast. Uh, By have you have you discovered what you're going to say yet? N yeah. What do you say? The one thing that might bring him true agony. The to lose all control, to lose, to feel powerless, to be subjected to the true entropy of this abyss. So basically, you're a dedicated Dom. <laughs> the ultimate Dom. The ult I seek control in all things of my life. You'll be a fantastic CEO. And president. I had the best words. As you raise your voice, as you raise your agony, it joins with the song, with the chorus, and it harmonizes perfectly. So perfectly, and for a fact, that for a while the other voices don't even notice there is an additional one. But when they do, one by one, the, the dull roar of whispers begins to fade into perfect quietness again. And right by yes. your ear, you hear, clear as day, and in English, you don't belong here. Die, monster. And just, you don't belong here, nothing else? That's what it says. <laughs> That's because I... I belong higher. 
How did you come to be here, lost one? I requested to be brought here. And that means you can leave as will as well, then. That is to be seen. And we shall find out. And you feel what feels like fiery knives sink into the depths of your soul. You can feel something invasive trying to push within you. Give me a, ro a willpower roll. Ooh. Difficulty six. Hey, if your willpower is less than eight, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm glad that 10 cancels out that one, so then that's, one that's four successes. Four successes. There's something foreign, something alien, trying to push itself inside you, trying to almost wear the outer physical shell of Byric Ash like a skin, trying to push out all that makes you you into this prison, into this formless abyss, and it's pushing hard, but you're able, you're able to keep it at bay. Give me another roll. <laughs> Do it again. That's only three successes. Three successes, you're holding on, but this thing blows like a hurricane wind. It's trying to force you out. What do you do? What do I do? I. What's your philosophy on what makes a person a person? <laughs> His ability to. Cont to to force their will upon the world. Well, then mages are hella people. Hmm. And it's just absolute darkness around me, correct? Absolute darkness, absolute nothingness, and only a constantly swelling feeling of rage and agony and despair as this thing tries to push itself deeper and deeper into you. This emotion begins to flood into you and fill all of the empty parts where you can feel yourself being pushed away. So the thing that I need to know, that I should do, is to make sure that I'm still me. Interesting. Hmm. And what better way than to cause... To know that you're still alive than to cause pain. I'm going to shoot myself. Aha! Uh -huh. you Now you've activated your persona. One more willpower <laughs> roll for me, please. Not fire, Not firearms? Nah, trust me. I know, I know what's happening. No, Tom, you're summoning your persona. Oh, my. What is his persona? That's a lot of tens, but then there's no other successes, so just three successes. Three successes, which brings you to ten, which is perfectly the amount of the extended roll that I asked for. You reach for your gun. Where do you aim it? At my head. <laughs> you place it to your head. And the bang goes off. And as you hear the bang, as it sort of deafens you, this pure blackness is gone. You find yourself back in the desert, sitting on the rock. You see Sir de Santiago before you, holding his glowing sphere of blackness. And for a moment, it's bright as day. I need a... Uh, let's go with the self-control roll here. Bro, were you really gonna fucking blow your brains out? That's <laughs> fucking metal. I got two successes. Two successes, okay. The beast rears up in surprise. 
<laughs> latches on to all of your all of your nerves, but you're able to rein it in for just a second as you realize it's not daytime. Your eyes have the the abyss did something to them, and you can see incredibly clearly. You can see pinpoint details that the darkness would otherwise obscure. But slowly, as you begin to come to, as you begin to realize your surroundings once more, everything begins to darken back until it attains its proper hue, its proper shade of darkness. Sir de Santiago closes his hand. The, the orb of blackness dissipates. Impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> You are worthy, Mr. Ashley. How? Because that's who my father. <laughs> worthy to a point where I might be concerned about you. <laughs> what a truly harrowing experience. Loathsome. <laughs> oh, you're not finished, Mr. Ashley. This was a taste, a glimpse of the shores. But if you can see that and be willing to go back, I can show you the rest of the way. <laughs> then, uh, then you shall be my guide. It has been a long time since I have felt this. And what is this, precisely? <laughs> An erection. <laughs> oh. No, I did that in the museum already. To feel truly loathsome. To be at the mercy of entropy. At chaos. At the primordial stew of our of all spirits. Then you realize the journey ahead of you is to go from being at its mercy to go from controlling it. But never forget. The table turns swiftly. So I will teach him. Mostly for my sheer own morbid curiosity, I confessed, but... You concern me slightly, Mr. Ashley, and that's not easy to do. I think... You are a prodigal student. And I would not turn you away for that. <laughs> I appreciate the kind words. Not kindness. Truthfulness, I think. Well, step one. Step one is for you to be able to establish that connection on your own. Use the darkness of your blood. Use the obtenebration. And he'll sort of... Nick his wrist. After it's been properly attuned to the abyss, of course. He'll proffer it in your direction. You can see the blood that leaks from him is also pure black. Huh. Neat. I don't particularly want to be bloodbound, though. You can't get bloodbound from just one drink. Okay, I don't know just... how much you're trying to get drink. Then uh, I should... So it takes three <laughs> separate occasions to be bloodbound. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. If you you can't be bloodbound if you diablerize him. <laughs> hey! Bounce one, one drink, and you just think he's pretty cool. Two drinks, uh, you'll really, really like this guy. Three drinks is bloodbound. But it's, it's common practice for... I don't know if you've ever learned to discipline without eating somebody, but it, <laughs> it's common discipline to uh, imbibe a point of the teacher's blood in order to take on their knowledge. But as soon as you've got what you want from him, then you then yeah, just diabolize his ass. Like, what's he going to do? This is the Sith way, right? <laughs> <laughs> Through power my shackles are broken, I am set free, then I will partake. 
Okay. Gain one blood point. Two. As you imbibe the vampire blood, it's delicious, as all vampire mm -hmm. blood is. It's incredible, but there's this sour taste. Almost as though it's... You wouldn't say gone off, but in a way that's not an entirely inaccurate <laughs> description either. <laughs> Senor, I think your blood is curdling. <laughs> it seems defiled uh, in a way. It seems dirty. It seems wrong. And as you drink it, that is piercing... The milk... Sorry? <laughs> is the milk expired? Nah, here, have a bite. <laughs> <laughs> that piercing cold that you felt moments earlier seems to just settle into the pit of your soul. Use your obtenebration. Conjure that sphere. And I want you to stare into it. When you can see the abyss, when you can see that perfect darkness once more, you'll be ready. And then once you have mastered abyss mysticism, you can be a demon. He's like, no, bro, there's an even deeper abyss. <laughs> oh, man. How deep does it go? <laughs> How many source books you got? <laughs> At some point, I just, like, break into the upper umbra. <laughs> just pass a bunch of werewolves on a moon bridge. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> I'm looking for the darkness. <laughs> well, then I killed your junk plant. Now to hold up my end of the the deal. Let me tell you how radios work. Hey, but that electricity. <clears throat> There is a box, and in this box is a little man. What is it that you wish to learn of me, then? Tell me about your connection to the darkness. Tell me about your version of a tenebration. I have no doubt that that's a strange question to you. You've probably never considered it before. I wish to know... What exactly the corruptions of Marconius did to you? That what an interesting inquiry. To say that it corrupted the darkness within well the lineage, I'm not sure is a correct assumption. Rather, a mutation would occur. And he listens intently. Um, so, my question right now is, it's currently 12-12. Do we want to keep going? Uh, uh, no, we can cut it here. Give it a stop, yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, Yusuf. Some people gets bedtimes, even if I don't. I mean, Adam's gonna fall asleep regardless. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, look, look at the poor boy. You're you are denying him sleep right now, Yusuf. <laughs> well, you, I guess we just do the stream while we'll be sleeping. I guess, but Adam, Adam, just get a Sibian so when you sit down, you don't want to fall asleep. What's a Sibian? What? Don't. No. Wait, 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 oh, wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. I no. know what a Sibian is. I'm just trying to figure out how that would. Like, what are you expecting him to do? Like, clench his ass cheeks? Uh, <laughs> it's like I mean... <laughs> <laughs> set up some remote control function, I guess. Adam's asleep. Lots of you just call me on the phone. And then I just put, and I just put on a cell <laughs> Ah, see, Valero knows like what's up. Okay, three worst. XP for everybody. Let's start the vote. So, I'm going to count. Your vote goes to Byrick for skinny dipping in the abyss and loving it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's... Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, get an e-stim, and then we can we can give the chat connection to it, right? <laughs> Does, uh, that would I have to be a very quiet answer. conversation because I'm not sure that that's good with uh, Twitch's terms of service. All right, fine. Is that an e-stim? It's just a shot caller. <laughs> Somehow I think that one's okay. <laughs> so, okay, so we, are, we, we monetize this, right? And everybody can tip five bucks, and every time they do, I hit the button. Buzz at them. Sitting here streaming on Twitch and OnlyFans. <laughs> Daystra, your short time always counts. I don't care if you're here for a minute, five minutes, 30 minutes, however long you have a vote, because we appreciate our viewers, every one of them. All right, so two votes for Byrick so far. Uh, Kyle, where's your vote going today? I don't know. I'm giving mine to Byrick for laughing at the abyss. <laughs> Not exactly he, what happened, he literally gazed into the abyss and he laughed. I don't know if you can say more about Byrick Ash than that. X, where's your vote going? Uh, I will Ooh, a vote for Jabril. Jabril for the Elder Scrolls 650 hit point twin turboed count. Oh, I almost get hers out so much. It's going to be a shame when he dies. It's a she, and I'll treat her much better than Jezebel. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean the rock. And Jezebel Mark II. <laughs> Unsinkable. <laughs> Unrockable. What if Dwayne the Rock drop and comes and tries to take <laughs> tries to take a uh, Skaharazad? Okay, if Dwayne the Rock Johnson walks up to you and he says, "I'm taking this," you don't stop him. Okay, there's a lot of people that aren't in on that particular joke, so let me explain it. I wasn't I there for you... that session of D and D. Neither was Bob. Bob had a camel named Jezebel. <laughs> uh, I Josh rolled on a wandering monsters table and discovered that the bo the party encountered a rock. Uh, the party decided to use Bob's camel, who again was not there for this, as bait to get the rock to come down so they could ambush it. Instead, the rock picks up the camel and flies away. To be fair, we did not know it was a rock at the time. What did you, what did you say it was? Uh, just a big ass bird. Or some sort of big, fine creature. We did not know it was a uh, big-ass bird that had a hell of a amount of health. Moral of the story is Bob got to come back for the next session and find out his camel had been eaten. <laughs> <laughs> but did we call to ask if we could use his camels, though? Yeah, we, we did ask him, like, Hey, Bob, can we use your camel for a thing? And he's just like, uh, Yeah, sure, we're like, Cool. <laughs> yeah. So we had the first and last time he ever agreed to that. <laughs> and that's when he left. Just kidding. Man. Tom, where's your vote going, buddy? Uh, I will give it to Jabril for helping his his master understand phones. <laughs> They're not always demons, but sometimes. Sometimes. All right, Kyle. Who's your favorite tonight? Who'd you like the best? Uh, in the way the whole who, made thing. You I, who made you cry? Who gave you a heart on? Either one. Um, I'm gonna have to get throw it to Adam for consistently raising <laughs> just the legend of Carlo ever higher every time. Tonight was certainly no fucking exception. The legend of Carlo. <laughs> Like the most inadvertent, like double entendre shit. Like, hey, I accidentally started this coup and whatnot. It's fine. Hey, guys, did you ever ask my cousin? Oh, who was it? Oh, the head of the family. <laughs> so I got like these cool eight ghost rings. Do you know how they work? <laughs> nah. <laughs> when the necromancer asks you how ghosts work, I'm like, yeah, okay. Yes. Okay, uh, I don't see any more chat votes coming, so it looks like Tom wins the extra XP tonight. Yay. Woo!
means I'm at 30 now. All right, if you're on YouTube, you know what to do. Speaking of which, uh, fuck, I need to oh, award shit. the bonus XP for previous episodes. Wait, how much XP was it? Three. Three. Three, yeah. Seven. Eighteen. <laughs> what did you need? Well, this is fast travel to get work. How much do you need? Wow. <laughs> Or are we going to see? Uh, okay. I don't know if I ever awarded for five. I might be really behind. Sorry, guys, but I do. I try. Go away, Honkai Impact. I don't want to install you. Is that, the, is that the one with the anime girls in it? One of them, yes. Because that really narrows it down. What about what's it called? Ashen Knights or what's it called? Arkham Beacon Knights? What is it called? Oh, Ar Arkham okay. Knights? Yeah, there you go. Arkham Knights? Ark Knights. Yeah, Arkham Knights. With the, the furry gun waifus? Yes. Alright, so. episode five, everybody voted for Dracula. No uh no surprise there. Think it makes me We order to go now, huh? Right. Dracula okay. upgrade. For Everyone's cutting out. Uh, James, that works. Vote for Adam because he had a near suicide moment with charging towards Jabril. Suicidal, but admirable. It wouldn't be the first time. Vodagon, or Vortigon Silverwood, a vote for Mr. Ash for being menacing as always. X for attacking the Were Elders and the Rake. Oh, I forgot I fucking did that. Uh, that was Christina Buchanan, by the way. Vasil Kalov wants to vote for Carlo Martino for coming back. If you accept a vote for after voting on the stream, of course we accept your vote, Vasil. You're we we love you. And Deathstroke votes for Adam for falling into torpor. I fall into torpor? Yeah, I don't remember that either, but uh, we'll take it. Uh, looks like Adam wins a bonus XP there. <laughs> okay. Episode seven. We're getting all caught up tonight. I'm throwing XP out like Oprah and Cars. Vortigon Silverwood, vote for Carlo Martino for giving some of the best head to his family member. Also because he needs more XP for his new additions, and he's very curious where his story goes from here. James, that works. Vote for Carlo Martino, master of driving the plot. Okay, well, hold on now. Vasil Kalov, awesome session. Also, you know where my vote is going, Adam, for trying to unfuck his life. <laughs> Not Carlo Martino, to Adam. Self-love, ja y'all. <laughs> Jacob Mormon, I don't know if it's too late. Never that, Fred, never that. I am the one that's late. But he votes for Carlo for story and not pissing on his laptop camera. What? I don't remember. I don't know what references we do. And Christina Buchanan, Adam, for Diablo. Adam, take another XP. You beautiful bastard. <laughs> Okay, and our previous session, episode 8. Go away, Marvel. Strike Force, I don't want to install you. Uh, Hunter the Cat votes for Xavier for being really patient as he barely did anything that stream. Yeah. <laughs> One fucking plot twist. Uh, the Great Thrawn did not vote, but he says as a person from Cincinnati, he appreciates the skyline love. Well, we appreciate skyline. Oh, okay, that's one vote for Skyline. Uh, Vortigon Silverwood. I love it. I'm definitely voting for Carlo Mart um, Giovanni for going all the way in. ST, you're in a dark alley with a man. What do you do? Adam licks lips. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't look like anybody gets a vote, uh, gets a XP from episode 8. <laughs> and the other guy says, please don't ever lick my lips again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're caught up on uh, In Before Dracula is actually Dracula fucking with people since Cam and Sabat can't find him here Okay, uh, so I think that catches us up finally on the YouTube comment votes Apologies to all our people who have been voting and I didn't count it I am human, I forget things But I hopefully made up for it now Every one of you are awesome If you're watching us here on Twitch If you're watching us on YouTube If you're listening on SoundCloud 
God damn, you people are so amazing. We we can't do this without you. We physically cannot. I mean, we could, but it would be significantly lessened. Um, so yeah, we still got some slots open for ghosts for Carlos. So here's what's going to happen. You guys get on our Discord, join the Discord. Uh, let us know who you want for ghosts and I will do it. And then I'll get, I'll let each one of you guys besides Carlo decide on a ghost. That sounds yeah. fun. So you're saying it. In the meantime, mwah, yeah. we're out of here, you guys. Hey, you, you made it back, Sarah, and that's what we appreciate. I'll have this on YouTube uh, as soon as I can. It's also still there on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Good point, Adam. Adam, with the, with the fucking save fist bump, uh, you can watch our VODs on Twitch up to two weeks after they air. So if you don't see it on YouTube right away or if I'm just late in uploading it, there's always a second option. I'm out of here tonight, guys. Goodbye. Night. Bye. Say goodnight, Josh. Uh, goodbye. Huh. Hey. You know what? For that split second, that was a fairly passable impersonation. Good job, Kyle. Hi. I attend. We're done. <laughs>